A lot of you right now in the process of getting your kids up and ready for their first day of school. That's right. A lot of parents go through this. Yeah, my wife says it can really be a struggle. I don't know because I'm at work, so good luck, honey. Uh, anyway, if you haven't even thought about what you're going to feed them for breakfast yet or lunch, we've got you covered. That's right. Joel Nichols has some ideas for things you can whip up before getting your kids on the bus. He's live at the High V in Olathe. All right, Joel, please tell us you have something our viewers can make quickly. You know how the first day of school can be. Something to get out the door and be healthy and be ready and be ready to go. And Lisa Bartels is back. So take us through the lunch or the breakfast process here so we're ready for school. Well, it's a good idea to try to include at least three food groups with your breakfast. So one really fun idea is to make a yogurt parfait here there, get the kids involved. So we have a vanilla Greek yogurt there. Again, Greek yogurt has more protein. We use both blackberries and raspberries for our fruit serving, and then a classic granola with minimal added sugar for a whole grain. They're going to think they're eating dessert for breakfast. They're going to love great, putting it together. Yeah, um, another idea is just to start with your basic quick oats that has no added sugar or sodium. Use a hard-boiled egg for your protein, and then you could add some raisins and um, pecans there for a little extra crunch and dried fruit with protein. What can you do here that you can do maybe the night before so all you do is grab it out of the the fridge. Would this be something you could do the night before? I think you could go ahead and prep that in, in the fridge and maybe just put the granola on in the morning so it doesn't oh, um, be quick, get soggy. That'd be great. And it's a good idea to include a dairy serving with breakfast. Eight ounces of low fat milk has about 300 milligrams of calcium, and kiddos four to eight need about a thousand milligrams of calcium each day. Build those day. strong bones. Exactly. Tell us about the sugar walls you have here. These are amazing. <laughs> well, our milk here has only 11 grams of natural sugar, which is represented by three sugar cubes, whereas soda has 75 grams wow. of total carbs, which is represented by this huge stack of sugar. <laughs> so um, a reminder to choose healthy drinks for your kids. Great ideas, and so you get your, your breakfast. Some of it you can do the night before, so you can really hit it. And if it looks like a dessert, then they're going to want to eat it. And then I uh, remember last time around, we talked a little bit about lunches and how to make that fun and nutritious at the same time. So good ideas, good way to get off on the right foot. And almost every teacher, my wife's a teacher, they'll all tell you, good breakfast, if you can do it, that's the best way to get ready for your school day. Thank you, Lisa, so much. Thank you. Lots of good ideas.